everyone this is Kalpana here in this video we are going to solve the given non-exact equation using inspection method so let's get started problem solve 1 plus xy into x into dy plus 1 minus yx into y into dx equals to 0 solution given differential equation One plus x y into x into d y plus one minus y x into y into d x equals to zero. Consider it as one. So we are considering the given equation as one. Okay, fine. So we can rewrite it as one minus y x into y into d x plus 1 plus x y into x into d y equals to 0 which is all m d x plus n d y equals to 0 huh, right which is all m d x plus n d y equals to 0 huh. so here we have to check whether the given differential equation is exact or not okay so if Partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x. Then we can say that the given differential equation is an exact equation. So we have m equals to 1 minus y x into y, right? Which is equal to y minus y square x. Now let's find partial derivative of m with respect to a, sorry, with respect to y, dou y dou y or y minus y square x, right? So here we are doing partial derivative with respect to y, so x is treated as constant. We can write this as partial derivative of first term minus partial derivative of second term, right? is equals to partial derivative of y with respect to y is 1 minus constant into partial derivative of y square with respect to y is equals to 1 minus x into partial derivative of y square with respect to y is 2y which is equals to 1 minus 2xy right and we have n equals to 1 plus xy into x which is equal to x plus x square y now let's find do n by do x is equal to do y do x or x plus x square y since we are doing partial derivative derivative with respect to x so y will be treated as constant this is equal to do y do x of x first term plus do y do x of second term right then do n by do x equals to partial derivative of x with respect to x is 1 plus constant that is y into partial derivative of x square we get 1 plus y into partial derivative of x square with respect to x is 2x which is equals to 1 plus 2xy. So here for do m by do y we got 1 minus 2xy and for do n by do x we got 1 plus 2xy. It is clear that do m by do y is not equals to do n by do x right which means that the given differential equation is non-exact. So what we have to do now, we'll be reducing the given differential equation, non-exact equation to an exact equation, okay? Therefore, one is non-exact, right? Since do m by do y equals to 1 minus 2xy and do n by 
2 x equals to 1 plus 2 x 1. So now you can write the above equation as y dx minus y square x dx plus x dy plus x square y dy equals to 0. Again you can rewrite it as y dx plus x dy minus y square x dx plus x square y dy equals to 0, right, fine, we know that differential x y equals to y dx plus x dy, right, so you can write y dx plus x dy as differential x y minus y square x dx, the last two terms will be as it is, Okay, so coming to the second term, you're having y square x dx, right? So here we are having differential dx. If we have x into dx, then it will be easy to integrate, right? But we need to eliminate y square from the second term. And here you're having differential dy, so it's easy to integrate y dy, right? So you need to eliminate this x square. So what we are going to do is we'll simply multiply the whole equation with integrating factor one by x square y square or one by x y whole square. Okay? Or simply you can say that dividing by x y whole square. Okay. Dividing by x y whole square or x square y square whatever it is, okay? Or x square y square. Then you'll get differential x y minus y square x dx plus x square y dy equals to 0 y x y whole square. Okay. You can write this as 1 by x y whole square into differential x y minus y square x y x y whole square into differential dx plus x square y by x y whole square into differential dy equals to zero okay In the next step will cancel this y square this x square okay fine now The given equation becomes exact after multiplying it with integrating factor. This is the reduced form of this equation, right? This equation is the reduced form of the above equation, right? Here we'll check whether the reduced equation is exact or not. That is equation 1 by xy whole square or equation 1 multiplied by integrating factor is exact or not consider this equation 1 plus x y into x into dy plus 1 minus y x into y into dx equals to 0 now use integrating factor that is 1 by x square y square into 1 plus x y equation 1 plus x y into x into dy plus 1 minus yx into y into dx equals to 0. Then we'll get 1 into x dx is x, sorry, 1 into x dy is x dy plus x square y dy plus 
y dx minus y y y square x dx by x square y square. Equals to zero. So now terms containing dx. We have two terms which contains dx, right? So take dx common from these two terms, then you get y minus y square x into dx. Now consider the terms containing differential dy. Take dy common from the first two terms and you get x plus x squared y into dy. Ready? By x squared y squared which is equals to 0. Right? Now we get m equals to y minus y square x by x square y square and n equals to x plus x square y by x square y square. Or you can you can split this as y minus y square x by x square y square into dx plus x plus x square y by x square y square into dy equals to 0. By comparing this with m dx plus n dy equals to 0, we'll get m equals to y minus y square x by x square y square and n equals to x plus x square y by x square y square. Clear? Fine. Now let's check whether the reduced equation is homogeneous, not homogeneous, sorry, exact or not. Do m by do y okay equals to do y you can also reduce this as y by x square y square minus y square x by x square y square your y square gets cancelled one y gets cancelled so do y do y of for m equals to one by x square y minus one by x which is equals to partial derivative of first term 1 by x square y minus partial derivative of second term since we are doing partial derivative with respect to y so here 1 by x square will be constant and 1 by x is also constant this is equals to constant into partial derivative of 1 by y with respect to y minus Partial derivative of 1 by x that is constant with respect to y is 0 is equals to 1 by x square into partial derivative of 1 by y is minus 1 by y square. So this is equals to minus 1 by x square y square. Okay. So we got partial derivative of m with respect to y is minus 1 by x square y square. Now we need to find the partial derivative of m. With respect to x, partial derivative of n with respect to x, we have n equals to x plus x square y by x square y square, right? You can split it as x by x square y square plus x square y by x square y square. x square gets cancelled, 1 y gets cancelled, 1 x gets cancelled equals to 1 by x y square plus 1 by y. Right. Is equals to dou by dou x of 1 by x y square plus 1 by y. Is equals to partial derivative of first term plus partial derivative of second term. Since we are doing partial derivative with respect to x, so y is treated as constant here okay then is equals to constant 1 by y square is constant 1 by y square into partial derivative of 1 by x with respect to x plus partial derivative of 1 by y that is 1 by y is constant right partial derivative of constant with respect to x is 0 is equals to 1 by y square into partial derivative of 1 by x with respect to x is 
minus 1 by x square which is equal to minus 1 by x square y square. So therefore partial derivative of n with respect to x is minus 1 by x square y square both are equal therefore do m by do y equals to do n by do x you can also rename it as m1 and n1 that is m1 and n1 from the reduced equation okay fine so from this we can say that the reduced equation is an exact equation can include a step here therefore 1 plus xy into x into dy plus 1 minus yx into y into dx y x square y square equals to 0 is exact okay if you want if you want okay fine now coming to the step so here We we'll get 1 by xy whole square into differential xy minus y square xy. You can write xy whole square as x square y square into dx plus x square y by x square y square into dy equals to 0. Now we can cancel y square and x square. 1x and 1y. Then 1 by xy whole square into differential xy minus 1 by x dx plus 1 by y dy equals to 0. Now it's easy to integrate, right? Now we can apply integration. So you can consider the reduced equation as equation number 2. Hmm? Fine. Now we are going to perform integration. Integral 1 by xy whole square into differential xy minus integral 1 by xy dx plus integral 1 by y dy equals to 0. We know that integral 1 by x square into dx is equals to minus 1 by x. Okay. So, for theta equals to xy, we will get integral 1 by xy whole square into differential xy is minus 1 by xy minus integral 1 by x dx is log mod x plus integral 1 by y dy is log mod y equals to constant. Since you have two terms in log, right? So we can write constant as log c. Write this as minus 1 by xy minus log x plus log y equals to log c or firstly write the positive term log y minus log x minus 1 by xy equals to log c which is the required general solution which is the required general solution to the given differential equation. Okay. Fine. So we have seen a problem from non-exact equation in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then. Bye-bye.